overall look and feel of the service, in other words, the background picture, the size of the text and everything else, is determined by the theme. And you can specify a theme for a service by using this drop down at the top. Now, normal is for the general background of the service. Um, but if you wanted to produce something different, you can produce a new theme. And the easiest way to do that is take an existing one and make a copy of it. So if I right click over that and say copy the theme, and then I could give it a name um, and I'll call it my theme. Now, if I right click again and I can edit the theme and it takes me into a wizard which enables me to specify exactly how I want this theme to look. At the moment, it's specified to have an image in the background, and that's our ordinary background image that we use in church. I could, in turn, take that to be a solid colour, and at the moment, that's black, but I could have any colour that I fancy. The other possibilities are gradient and transparent, but if I leave it a solid colour and then say next, this is the text of the song itself. That's the font. The colour is white here. It's not bold and it's not italic. But the size is in this box here. And it says I'm going to get approximately seven lines per slide. So if I make this smaller, it will then go up to eight. If I make it bigger, it will go down to six. So we need to pick the size that is appropriate. For general visibility in Perry Street, do not go more than seven slides, seven lines per slide. Otherwise, the text gets too small and people at the back can't see it clearly. The line spacing between the various lines is OK there at five points. And this has been arranged to have a black outline of two point width but no shadow but you could add a shadow if you felt like it so that's the main body of the song then we've got the credit line at the bottom for the author and the music and what have you and this is marked as and that's the font it's in white again but you could change that and that is the size of the typeface don't make it too big. This is the position of the main song text. So horizontally it's in the middle and vertically it's in the middle. But if you wanted it to go to the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen or if you wanted it left justified or right aligned or fully justified you can choose there. The transitions I would recommend that you leave off. It, the idea is that it will fade from one screen to the next but it's a bit lumpy and it's better just to do a straight cut. If I say next now this is the position of the main song text and this is the position of the footer text. Don't fiddle with it just leave it where it is. If I do next this now gives me an example of what my screen will look like based on the choices that I've made. So here's the main text there's the footer text if you don't like it, you can go back and change it and keep doing this until you've found something you like. And when you click Finish, it will then update your theme with those changes. If I now make the service theme my theme instead, when I go to a song, it displays it with a black background instead of the default church logo background. So you can change themes for yourself according to the requirements that you have. But be careful you don't make the text too small. That's one of the big things that we need to be careful of. Readability, particularly at the back of the sanctuary.